I am with Tim Crofton. Tim is doing Around the World, and here we go. Dessert heaven. But today we're celebrating. We're celebrating your 100th episode. That's insane. <laughs> I love it. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, well, huge, huge congratulations. Well, thank what, you. Uh, what an amazing milestone. 100. A century. Woo! You are going to bake a one of your diverse cultural desserts. Right. We're off to Uganda. Uh, which is Eastern Africa. It's close to, I'm trying to think, Tanzania, Kenya, uh, Somalia, that, that bit over there. Uh, and I'm going to make a pineapple and nut loaf. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I've only been to Northern and Western Africa. Uh, when I first left high school, I hitchhiked across the Sahara <laughs> Desert. Uh, we went across the Western Western Sahara. It was quite an adventure because the Sahara de doesn't have any roads going through it. They have what they call piste, um, which is hard sand. And as you go across th through the desert, you see <clears throat> the uh, the shells of that chopping, that's me chopping. Do you yeah. hear that? that this, is, this is touchy feely radio. You can hear it, you can feel it. I'm sorry you can't taste it. Um, yeah, so we, as you're going through the desert, you just see all of these um, cars that have got stuck in the sand. And uh, rather than call out a tow truck, which of course wouldn't come, uh, people just strip the cars down to. The, uh, their frame and take everything on to the next oasis town. So we we um, we travelled on the back of a date truck, and we also travelled with an Italian theatre troupe that was going in a, a converted school bus. But we sure had a long time, uh, a great time. It it took a long, quite a long time, as you might imagine. Uh, but what happens is the road kind of connect the oases of Algeria. So I'm trying to think what those oases towns are. Insala, Taman Reset, uh, and then once you get down through southern Algeria, you he head into Niger, which is Niamey and, and that kind of thing. But yeah, I don't know quite why I'm talking about that, but uh, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's Africa. It's Africa related. Okay, so what I've done here, um, Kat, is I've, I've kind of roughly chopped a cup of nuts. And those are going to go into my uh, dry mix. And in my dry mix, I have two cups of um, whole wheat flour. A cup of bran. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. What else? Uh, there's a little bit of salt, a little bit of baking soda, a little bit of baking powder, teaspoon of each. And do you know something? This has no sugar in it. Um, I There will be a little bit of sweetness provided by... Um, the pineapple that I will put in, but still, it's definitely going to be slightly on the um, yummy side for well, me. The, yummy, <laughs> yummy, but I guess more savoury. I did in the recipe. It did say that once it's cooled, the best way to eat it is with uh, a, um, a a little bit of. Uh, cream cheese on top of it. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, okay, so into this mixture, uh, Kat, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put a cup of pineapple that I have, um, made very runny. Looks so, pureed. Yeah, right? oh, whoops. Oh, I just spilled a bit on the counter. Yeah, you did. Uh, <laughs> silly sausage. Uh, I, I think I'm <laughs> still fine. I'm going to put a cup of this. What I've done is I've uh, essentialized it. So I've got rid of some of the excess liquid in it. Um, which, uh, I don't know. Uh, there's not much liquid in here. So uh, the one other thing I'm going to pop in are two eggs. 
You know, the lovely thing about eggs is I can tell exactly which bird these came from. This is um, Zesty, Zesty Chicken, and this one is Princess Leia. You can tell just because this is darker, this is a little bit lighter. Uh, oh, I do see that. So I'm a proud parent of the girls. <laughs> uh, so we'll put a couple of those in there. Uh, bloody boo. And there they are. And I'm just going to pop that uh, in the mixer for a couple of minutes. It won't take long. I can't help but think that this is going to put hairs on our chest. Oh, well, uh, I don't know about that, too. Because <laughs> it, it's got a lot of roughage in here. It'll, it, it, it'll do wonders to our constitution. Uh, not the American constitution, our, you know, our physical constitution. Lots of fibre in here. Not only Whoa. whole wheat flour, but the bran as well. Nuts, I'm guessing, are, are fairly fibrous. And, so, uh, and, and then, of course, the pineapple, too, which is... Uh, pretty fibrous as well. And all we have to do now is put our loaf into our loaf pan, which I've already prepared because I'm just like Julia Childs, you see? <laughs> uh, not quite as attractive as there. And yeah, that is just going to go straight in there. It's sort of thick enough. Um, it almost looks like a cookie dough. It does almost, doesn't it? It's definitely on what we might call the, the dense side. So I'm going to press that down. There it is. Nuts, pineapple, and all sorts of um, all sorts of fibre going in. And as I say, that'll stay there for one hour. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, a hundred. Woo! Okay, it's the moment of truth. We're going to unveil the hundredth episode <laughs> celebratory loaf. Uh, a reminder, it is a peanut and pineapple loaf from Uganda. Uh, and here we go. Nine seconds, eight, seven, Ooh. five. Oh! <laughs> Feels like New Year. Uh, oh, watch there out, it is. Doggy, hot. There it is. It looks quite well browned. Oh, it's, it looks yummy. It's risen a tiny bit, which would be the, be the baking powder and the baking soda. Um, and uh, what I like to do, Kat, is I like to plop it on. I, I, I've become very obsessed with serving plates uh, in my dessert. Uh, in my global dessert quest. There, you go. there it is. Oh, it's beautiful. Look how perfect it is with the peanuts showing through. It looks a bit of all right, doesn't it? I think exceptionally tasty, but I don't know that I would classify that as a dessert. Well, I'm classifying it as the best. 100th episode Ugandan dessert 